to configure email messaging or text messaging from the E300 electronic overload relay, first place the E300 overload relay into administrative mode or permanently enable the web server. Configuration of the email functionality from the E300 is configured through its web server. First, open a web browser and type in the IP address of the E300 electronic overload relays Ethernet IP communications module. For this example, we'll be using an E300 located at IP address 192.168.11. Email configuration is done under the administrative settings. Then click Email Configuration. Next, type in the email address of the person who you'd like to send the email message to. In this example, we will send one to abradley at ra.rockwell.com. Next, type in the address of the person sending the message. In this example, we will use bsmith at ra.rockwell.com who is the maintenance supervisor. Next, type in the server name for the SMTP server located on the network. If there's a username or password, enter those here. If you'd like to send a text message, in conjunction with an email message, simply add a colon and enter in the email address for the text service provider. For AT&T subscribers, the format looks like this. The phone number for the mobile device, followed by at text.att.net. After the email client settings have been configured, next select the event that will enable the email notification. There are a number of chip and warning events that can cause this action. For this example, we will enable the phase loss trip. When the configuration is completed, press Apply Changes. And now the E300 will send out an email message and a text message when there is a phase loss trip.